Hey Dave here, hope you're good. Subscribe to The Imperfect Individual if you like my content. I'm gonna quickly just talk to you about information and what we can do to remove ourselves from the information war or to limit ourselves as much as possible the amount of information that we consume and absorb. Because not only is it unhealthy uh, for us, uh, you know, after what years really of, uh, of attack by information from various sources, we are in the middle of the information war after all. But also, I think I feel that it dis it's distracting many of us from what we need to do, which is, of course, waking other people up, being very, very on point, on message, very focused on what it is that we are trying to uh, convince people of, which is that they have lost their freedoms and they must fight to get their freedoms back. Uh, with information, we can become, like I say, distracted. We can we can start spreading ourselves too thin and we can feel like we're drowning in information, always wanting to stay up to date with everything that's happening or should I say might be happening elsewhere. And of course, 99% of the time, never knowing what's true and, and, what's, uh, and what's not, which is why I always say, let's remember, keep using our eyes and our ears and keep feeling with our heart and with our gut as well. Best way to interpret our worlds. Since I came off the uh, Telegram groups and the Facebook groups, I do feel a lot better. And I just want to say to people that just from my own perspective in the, the one Telegram group that I am still in, which is, of course, my own, and the WhatsApp, a couple of WhatsApp groups that I'm, at, that I'm in with uh, other local freedom fighters, uh, I am privy to enough information to make me feel that I'm in some way just staying up to date with what's, what the general picture is without it uh, psychologically and emotionally damaging me. There are, um, there are in all of the groups, I think, there's, a, there's, a, there's always a way to stay up to date because there are always um, people who will post things to, to ensure that everyone is kept up to date. But if we can just limit maybe just to one group uh, you know, just one source of information so that we can focus our attention, uh, our resources and, and our energies into, you know, our own well-being, our own mental uh, strength, our own kind of like fortitude uh, and, and also enable us to focus those energies and direct those energies specifically where it is needed. So we don't need to, to be in, you know, 30 groups on Facebook. We don't need to be on 30 groups on Telegram. We don't need to do that. I really strongly, passionately believe that. That in you know at the core of it, I think we all understand, you know, what it is that we're up against. This really is now about getting the numbers, and it's about ensuring that enough of those numbers are actively showing that civil disobedience as well. So we need to make sure we're focused ourselves. We need to make sure we're putting our energy into the right places, and we've definitely got to make sure that we're not ourselves drowning in information. Focus on what we can do focus our resources as specifically as possible and just limit that information. So that's my own perception, my own take on, on uh, how things have improved for me since I've removed myself uh, from, from, well, completely from Facebook and from all but one Telegram group um, and one WhatsApp group as well. So let me know what you think of this. I do feel that it would be of benefit to many people if they can just kind of like tear themselves away a little bit from uh, because it's never it's this never ending cycle, it's never ending hamster's wheel of it's just information, information, information all the time, never stops. We've got to you know realize the damage that may be doing to us and to our movement. So okay, don't forget to subscribe. Like I say, hope you're all good. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye bye.